Hello VC, hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing all right and keeping safe as usual. So yeah, today is a uh, entry for Rob Walker's um, two uh, subscribers contest, and which is five artists you wish you got the chance to see live. So yeah, uh, before I get on with that list, I'll tell you about Rob Walker's channel if you may not have heard of it. You probably have by now, but Rob Walker is a really good channel. Uh, his channel's really good. He's a he's he's a very very decent guy. He's really good on the camera. I think uh, I really like watching his updates and his videos. He's really into his uh, his Manchester music, alternative and indie stuff. So that's always a pleasure. You know, if you like that stuff, you know, go and check his channel out. He's into new music as well. So you know, yeah, fair play to him. Great channel. He's been going for two years, I believe. So, I've always thought he was on here for longer, but no, two years, wow. But yeah Rob, you've got a great channel, carry on, carry on and keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, if anyone would like to see a video as well on the artists I have seen live, I'll leave a link as well down in the description to that as well, so yeah. Okay, so the five artists I wish I got the chance to see live. Okay, I've got, yep, yeah, no one's going to show you, do you represent? So first, uh, Pink Floyd. I would really love to have seen Pink Floyd if you know if it was ever possible if they'd ever done another show. If I'd when I when I had the time became a fan, I became a fan when I was fifth, about fourteen, going on to fifteen. So you know, it's never a chance. And the last time they ever like the members ever played really together was in twenty eleven or was it twenty thirteen? When they twenty eleven, I think it was when Gilmore and Mason came out came out uh, with Roger Waters for um, a gig he, Roger was doing at the O2, playing The Wall live. I would have loved to have gone to see that. I have seen Roger. I saw him on the Us and Them tour in 2018 in Liverpool. A fantastic gig, but I really would have loved to have seen the, the Floyd live, you know, it would have been nice. And if they ever do, you know, ever do a reunion one day, you know, which I doubt it, it would, I'd probably go to it. Okay. Who else have I got? Um, the next artist I can't show a record of because I don't have any. I had one a, while, a long time ago, but not anymore. It's the uh, the, the band Rush. Uh, Rush, of course, famous Canadian trio of, of Geddy Lee, Neil Peart and Alice, uh, Alex, sorry, Alex, <laughs> Alex Lifeson. <laughs> uh, but, you know, they did a lot of, uh, they did a lot of uh, great work, of course, mainly in the, in the prog rock area and they went very synthy <laughs> in, uh, in the 80s. I really like what I heard of them. I heard a lot of songs about them, so, you know, it would have been nice to have really gone to see them before, you know, they they broke up. I believe they last came here around 2011, around um, these the, the British areas. But, yeah, shame about Neil, if Neil hadn't passed away and retired, and maybe there could have been another album. But, oh, well, they've been going for a long time anyway, so, yeah. Okay, number three... Is this guy? I would have absolutely loved to have seen him live if only he hadn't passed away. That is Prince, and uh, there he is, his face there. It was Prince. Uh, this is the, 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 the most recent LP I have of his, Plectrum Electrum. Um, such a great artist. I, I, I kind of missed out on him. I feel like I missed out on him because he did. Um, before I became a fan, uh, before I knew his music anyway, I started knowing his music when I was 15. Um, I think the year, like a while, like in 2014, he'd done a bunch of like gigs around Manchester and London. So I kind of wish that, you know, I'd known about him a bit more sooner, maybe 13. And I could have maybe gotten the chance to have seen the guy live. Because, you know, seeing footage of that, you know, he was like the ultimate, like, you know, performer, man. He just, you know, he just came out and gave a hell of a show and played forever. So it would have been so nice to have seen Prince. I would have really loved it. Yeah. Uh, number four. Now I'm showing this one because this is the most recent I've been playing of them. This is REM. I've I've been listening to a lot of REM. Made this album recently. Been going through my my little collection of REM LPs. But you know, great band. I would have loved to have seen them live. Uh, last time they played here was in 2008. That was last their last tour for the for the Accelerate LP. But, you know, it would have been nice to have ever gotten the chance to see live. Of course, I know uh, Bill Berry, Mike Mills and Peter Buck have done a couple of shows occasionally, you know, but no Skype. 
but yeah, it would have been really nice to have seen REM. And any concert, you know, any concert, because it's such a great live act. So yeah. And number one, now this is very tricky for me because this guy stopped touring when last time he came here around my areas, around the Brit British areas anyway. He, I was four years old. And you can kind of guess who that is, can't you? It's David Bowie. Uh, I love David Bowie just because of the Sonic. I, I rarely show this one, but yeah, Serious Moonlight. Um, it just would have been brilliant to have seen David Bowie. I mean, he is my all-time favourite artist. I'm very jealous of the people who have seen him live, you know. But, yeah, shame. Yeah. Yeah. Such a great artist. It would have been amazing to have seen him live. Especially on something like the reality tour. You know. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Yes, uh, I saw Richard McCook's response to uh, Rob's um, contest and um, Richard added a little thing called five artists that people would like to see. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. So I thought I'd have a go at that, Richard. All right, so yeah. Okay, five again as usual. So yeah, first I'm gonna show this one, number one I have Aha, uh -huh. they are do. They're currently postponed. The cur currently, their current tour, sorry, is postponed, which is the tour for the Hunting High and Low album. And last year, when I was at the Record Den, the the guy who runs the place, Dom, he said to me that Aha uh -huh were a great live act and that I should see them. And I wouldn't mind that. I like Aha's music. Um, I'm really getting to know more of their stuff than the usual, you know, greatest hits. But you know, this album is a really good album, so I'd love to see them do this live, you know, whenever it seems possible. I don't, maybe 2021, late 2021, I'd definitely go, poss probably 2022, but that would be such a kick-ass gig. Yeah, that would be just awesome. Uh, number two, I have Midge Ewer, where is he? There, Midge Ewer, from the band Ultravox. I do regret that I didn't go see him in 2019 at Liverpool when he was doing the uh, Visage album and the Vienna album that would be amazing but I think he's bringing it around certain European some European countries around that are a bit bit far but you know in flight distance so if he postpones them if he does you know or if you know whenever he wants to do those gigs I would probably pop on a plane or whatever and try and get to see them because I would really love to yeah I'd love to see him. But I'd love to see him anyway. He puts on a good show, I believe. Okay, number three. The boss, Bruce Springsteen. Um, he has talked recently about doing a tour. He was going to do a tour this year for his new album, Letter to You. But, you know, I don't think I can see that happening. <laughs> but next year, come on, Bruce. Hopefully, we can get this rubbish sorted out and we can go see and I can go see him live. Love to see Bruce live. Number two, Neil Young. Uh, this live album really turned me on to how you know the live stuff, how it was, how Neil could play live. This is incredible, and I'd really love to still see Neil live today because he still, from seeing from footage, he still sounds really good. But you know, yeah, just seeing him perform all of those great songs it would just be amazing. Yeah, Neil Young. I don't care who with, you know, Promise of the Real, Crazy Horse, Stray Gators, hang on, they're not even alive anymore, but yeah, <laughs> be great to see Neil. And number five, okay, Peter Gabriel, uh, I would really love to see Peter Gabriel live. I always have, I know, you know, he's still alive, he's still going, I think he's just recording his new album, but I really would love to see him live. He, the last time he came here was, again, I think I just missed a, him when he came here last, uh, 2014 came here last, just before I became a fan of his music. Um, but they did a tour of Sting, which I was so hoping was coming to the UK, I, like around, you know, around U to Europe. But I really, you know, he, he didn't go in the end, which was like, oh. But, you know, come on, Peter, you got to do another tour. You know, you're only young. <laughs> Early 70. <laughs> But yeah, that'd be great to see Peter Gabriel alive because he puts on a hell of a show from what I've seen. And that is it, uh, Rob and Richard. So yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And uh, I just want to say again, congratulations, Rob. 
but uh, you know, cheers on the VC, keep up the good work man. And yes, thank you all for watching again, I hope everyone has a good day, and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you very much VC, bye bye for now.